Today I'm going to be showing you what you can do with a data set from Uber, which is a ride sharing app. I'll be using R to clean and tidy up the data sets. So let's get started. First, I want to walk through the data set that we'll be using. The first being um, the Uber ride uh, sharing data set from, that I've downloaded from Kaggle. So basically, they are, they, it consists of ride shares information uh, for the city of Peru in 2010, and it contains information such as user ID, driver ID, um, the start and end dates and times, um, start and end locations, and other information includes uh, price of the ride and sourced when the rides were placed, a driver and Writer scores. The second data set uh, consists of temperature data. So this I've gathered separately from a weather reporting website, and it contains a minimum average and maximum temperature recorded for uh, every month. So they're recorded monthly for the year 2010 in Lima, Peru. Okay, here I'm going to show you step-by-step -step process of how I clean and tidy up the data sets that I've shown you. And so as usual, I'm going to start with setting up the working directory and loading all the packages that I need. And then I'm going to read in the uh, first data set, which is the right sharing data set, how quickly double check it to see if everything looks okay. The first few lines of the data to see they're all okay. So indeed they're okay, they're fine. And what I like to do here is to take away some of the columns that I'm not interested in. This is really subjective and it's really what, uh, based on my preference. And um, you can basically pick and choose which one that you like to retain for uh, further analysis. So I'm going to use the select function and take out a few of the columns and quickly have a look again to see if they are in fact being removed. So yes, they um, actually were eliminated. And so Next is I would like to create um, new variables that contains extraction of uh, date times using loop date. So basically, I want to extract the year, month, and hour from the start and end date time. So this is utilizing the year, month, hour function from loop date, which is very handy. And there are other ways to do it, to do this as well. You can use loop uh, You can use stringer actually. To, to do this as well, and it works fine. But in this case, I'm going to be using uh, Lubridate. And then, so let's run this and then and have a look at the resulting uh, data. Um, and so we can see here there are six new variables being created, and we can double check, for example, for the end, the first end date time, we have um, 2010 November and time being 17, which is 5 p.m. So we have the 17 here, which is great. So the next thing I like to do is to read in the second data set, which is a temperature data set and quickly have a look at it. And so that looks good. And what I like to do is to convert this to a long format and then take out the year column, which is 2010. And it's all the same anyway, it doesn't give me any uh, more information. So what I like to do is to have three columns. So one column being the month, one column being the uh, variable that represents min, average, and max, and the last, the last variable representing all the temperature values. So so that, um, um, so this is how it looks like with what I've just explained to you and I would like to change the um, column names and this is what it looks like um, in the end. 
Um, so those, so that's that. And now I'm going to move back to the Uber data set. And here I would like to create a new variable. Okay. So this new variable is sort of similar with the time variable here. So what um, I would like to, the way I'm creating this variable is basically based on the start hour. So basically the start hour of the ride. If the start, if the start hour happens between like midnight to seven and late at night and that will be considered a min temperature period of the day okay so um and so forth so if it happens from noon to 5 p.m it's the max um uh, temperature um for the uh for the day okay so so um so i'm gonna quickly run that and have a look at how it looks like here and here we do have the uh the newly created variable based on the start hour and um for example if it's 5 p.m in the morning it's actually mean temperature which is uh, what we wanted and if it's 1 p.m it's at max temperature of the day which is uh what we wanted so next what i like to do is to look up the temperature value from the temperature data table um, and and to look that up and create a new column here yeah so to do that I'm going to use the merge function basically um, um, uh, to look up um, to merge based on two columns the start month on the uber data set equaling the month column in the temperature data set Okay, and then of course the time column here, which I've just created based on the start hour to equal the time um, in the temperature data set. So with that matching, uh, when both of them matches, then it will return whatever the temperature value is. Okay, so let's quickly do that. And then let's have a look at the result. And so we have here the temperature uh, values being uh, 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 looked up. So uh, next, uh, one last variable that I would like to create is actually the interval. Okay, basically I would like to calculate the duration of each ride. So by, by using the interval function and inputting start and end daytimes okay so when we have the interval and then i pass that through int underscore length that will give me interval in seconds okay so let's check out how it looks like and indeed we do have here at the end the um number of seconds for each ride and um beautifully computed in seconds so one last bit of thing what I want one last one last bit I would like to do uh, is to look at the number of NAs for each column um, so and I would like to clean up the um, the rights that has uh, no uh, basically NAs in their um, travel duration okay so that's 277 of them so i'm gonna use the filter function and then let's have a look at the final result and we can tell, we can see that using the call sums uh, function again and it's true all the 277 um nas uh, were eliminated so that's good so it looks like I have the data set ready for the next step of my analysis and I'll see you in my next video.